There are a lot of tools available in PowerPoint to format a table the way you want. Create an example table. When a table is created, a default table style is applied, but you can change it. Click on the More button to see the different table styles available. You can select any one of them. By default, the header row checkbox is selected, hence has a special formatting. You can clear it if you don't want a special formatting. If you want a special formatting for last row of table, select the checkbox total row. If you select the checkbox banded rows, then even rows are formatted differently than odd rows. If you select the checkbox banded columns, then even columns are formatted differently than odd columns. If you select the checkbox first column, then a special formatting is displayed for first column. Same is true for last column if you want a special formatting for last column. If you don't want any formatting and only black border, black text and no cell fill, click on more button in table styles. Click on clear table. If you want to apply a shading to a single cell, click on the cell. Click on shading. Then select the color and the cell is filled with the color. You can do the same thing by selecting multiple cells like a, all cells in a column or all cells in a row and apply a shading of whatever color you want. You can also click on no fill in shading if you want to remove the existing shading. Click on shading and you can see if you click on more fill colors, you can select more colors. Select the picture if you want to insert a picture into a single cell. You can select the picture you want, click on insert. You can see the picture is inserted into that cell. You can also select a bunch of cells and insert a picture into all of them. You can see all cells have the same picture. If you want to apply a gradient, select the cell click on shading and then you can select the gradient you want to apply. You can apply a texture to a cell. Select the cell and or the range of cells and click on shading and select the texture you want to apply. You can use the table background to specify a fill for the entire table. Click on shading. In table background, you can select a color to fill, but the colors will be applied only to the cells where there is no existing formatting. You can select a border for a cell or a column or a row or entire table. Click on a different style for the table. Now select a cell by clicking on it and click on borders and you can select the border you want. 
you can see the border is applied for the single cell. You can select a range of cells and you can apply the border to it. Select the entire table and select the border you want. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.